you need to go to the confusion in order to understand something for some meaning that is individual to to appear My name is Hanoch Piven and I'm an illustrator, I'm an artist from Israel. I would say that what I do is create with objects and help others create. What is the process that you, that you teach them in these workshops? Or what is the process that you use when you make a collage? Because I can see the fine things that symbolize you and then how can you use them to make a portrait that looks like right. you? I can see the rough, but, but that's not enough. Then what's the process that, you, that we're supposed right. to try? The first part of the process is allowing you to enter a state of confusion. But if possible, a confusion that will not be too scary. And this is where playfulness comes. If I create a place that is playful, that is full of uh, colors and of possibilities, you will be overwhelmed and you will be confused. But my first instruction is to tell you it's okay to be confused. If you are confused now, you have arrived to the right place. And then confusion comes from what? From seeing all this material or? From seeing all the material and from the fact that I did not give you an IKEA manual and I did not give you a GPS. I did not tell you what you need to do. Putting people in this situation involves tricking their brain somehow. And the trick that I do by showing faces is uh, something that puts people in a new place. Then they, try, they start to try things. And if they can get themselves through this panic of uh, not knowing what is the right way of doing it, they might find some meaning emerge. And just as that kid in Boston talked about the nose of Obama and said, I know exactly why you did it. It's a nose that represents the freedom through the lead of the tea kettle flying away. That guy had an individual thought, an individual creative metaphor. And this is usually what's starting to happen. Once the person created an individual metaphor, a person is already creating. Confused is, is generally seen as kind of a negative word, generally. Like, right. But if you think about it, as you described it, it's not a negative word at all. Well, confusion is scary. Um, we are afraid in the dark because we don't know what's happening. But uh, out of confusion, meaning, an idea emerges. And I feel that once meaning emerges, there is a new hierarchy that can be built around that idea, that meaning. And this is a new set of rules that dictates now what we should do in our art piece, what fits, what doesn't fit. Can you be creative at all without being confused at, some, at one state or another? Um, no, you can't. My, no. my, I, I mean, you cannot. Because, so in that, sense, uh, in that sense, it's not scary. I would argue it's not scary. It, could, it can be scary to be confused, uh, just like it can be scary to be wet. But it's not, it's not, there's not a direct correlation between being wet and being scared. And I think the first time that we all decided that we were going to walk out in the rain and get wet without an umbrella, and we realized that we didn't melt and that nothing really happened to us, those of us that ran marathons in the rain and, and, all, and all that, you know, it's a, wow, why, why is it that everybody is so afraid of getting wet? It, it, it's a very good metaphor. You can benefit a lot from defined moments of confusion. So I think that if you want to see confusion in a positive way throughout a process of creation, innovation, education, you need to define that space of confusion and cushion it in a very nice way and understand that following the process of confusion, there is the process of analyzing and of verbalizing and of putting a cognitive uh, angle to what happened in those moments of, uh, of searching.
But I want to go further. I want to say we should encourage confusion. We should create more confusion because it yeah. triggers yeah, so, so, so it triggers so much creativity. Yeah, I think, uh, and as I said, you know, we should learn to notice those happy accidents, but part of the process is to help the happy accidents come. How to trigger confusion? In my case, it is by, by creating possibility, by, crea by bringing lots of objects. So the idea of confusion comes from entering a place in which you haven't been before. And in my workshop, I create this place by telling you, okay, you know, you see all this junk. This is the junk that you are going to be creating with. So it's a new experience. So step one then is to add, some, add something unfamiliar. To put you in an unfamiliar place. What's number two? You, create options. Create lots of fun options. Yes, because if you have the unfamiliar, but you have no options, then you, you get the scary confusion because you just feel trapped. So you need, exactly. it's, not enough to, it's not enough to have the unfamiliar. You also need to have many, at least a feeling of many options. So, What's the third one? Well, I would say, tell you that it's okay to be confused and not show you a solution, not show mm -hmm. you an easy way out. So when you do your and workshops, do you, do you show... Uh, uh, examples of art that you've done before they start doing it yeah, or not? Yeah, yeah, I show, I show because I feel that um, when I show them my work, they start analyzing and they start thinking. But it's very important for me to tell them, you know, I did it this way, but you know, it's not about doing it like me. Do you guide them to clarity from the beginning or do you leave them in the confusion for a while and then you go in and, and guide of them course, to clarity? Of course. Of course, I leave them in the confusion for a while. And, and of course, one secret is not to give the glue until the very end. They don't have glue at the beginning, so they cannot glue. Because if you give people glue, they will glue. But if you don't give them glue, they will try. And it's especially clear with little children, but you would be amazed how adults are the same as little children. You said it a little bit like a, like a offhand comment, but I think it's, it's absolutely crucial the fact that you don't give them glue until after a while. Yeah. That is, that is, so that they can move around and, and, and change themselves and move around and try it out. And then finally, when they found, when, when they found the clarity, it's like, okay, now I found it. Then they glue. If they start gluing right, too early. Right. So this is another way of saying create a situation in which you don't pay a price for your mistakes. Yeah, and I would say that the key is not that you made a mistake. I mean, the fact that you, you don't get glue is not that you, you, you get stuck in the mistake. The, the fact is you, can, you don't get stuck in the decision because you made a decision too right. early, right? right? Yeah, but that's what I found so fascinating with the collage because in, it becomes so much clearer in a collage until yeah. you glue that it's actually not a failure. You just try, when you, like you said, when you write and then you need to erase, you can look at that as a failure. Yeah. Gosh, where you're just moving things around until you're happy with it. I wouldn't even call that a mistake. So it's such a beautiful example of exactly. showcasing that uh, trying something out is per definition, not a mistake. And then when you are happy with it, that's when you glue. Right. That's the, and you can go back. You can go back to what happened before. If you yeah. were in a better place before and exactly. now you went to a bad place. No, no, no. What was happening before was better. I go yeah. back. Nothing happened, you know? Yeah. So the process of confusion is add the unfamiliar, uh, create a lot of options, do not show the way out, but, open, but have an open-ended goal and then guide to clarity after a while and then don't, right. don't glue until you have reached clarity. Right, and you might need to add a, de a deadline. Deadline is helpful. I mean, you, yeah. you might need to say, okay guys, now you know you need to finish. So that was this episode. Now press that subscribe channel and every week get more inspirational videos about how you can discover your full creative potential. Press the button.